heated butter in the nose, all of them. In, inside? Inside, with a, with a dropper, all right? You take your heads right heat, heat butter and sieve it up. And then if, when it is slightly warm, not very warm, absolutely slightly warm, then put it in your nose. Very important because, the, I don't know, in this country people, it's a very simple thing to be done. Once in a while, about say two, three days later, or even every day you do, doesn't matter. It's like putting cream on your hands. You see, because the cold weather also chaps inside the lining of the nose. And when you put this, it makes the nose smooth and you don't get troublesome. It's very simple. All of you should do all the Sahaja Yogis are supposed to do. There are so many things Sahaja Yogis are supposed to do. One of them is this, that try to keep your hamsa chakra all right. By keeping your nose all right, you keep your hamsa chakra better. So better use this simple method of heating some ghee, we call it. You see, you can prepare it, heated butter, keep it in a bottle with a dropper and heat it in the hot water and then put it in the nose just like that, in the night, before sleeping. Even in the ears, you must put olive oil. It's very important. For the teeth also, you must take some salt, put some olive oil, and rub your gums. With that, you won't have to go to the dentist anymore. That's the best. I've never been to a dentist all my life, and I don't want you to go to dentist anymore. <laughs> so that's a very good way of rubbing your gums with vibrated salt and what you call the olive oil. Also, you must oil your heads every Saturday with so much of oil, nicely. Oil it, massage your head and sleep off and next day wash off your head. You feel very much better. If any if you cannot get olive oil, the best is almond oil for the head. It keeps very peaceful. Especially your children, you must massage them till they are five years of age every night when they go off to sleep in the night. Nicely, very or before sleeping, and then put some powder, clean it out, and let them sleep. Then the children won't be running and upset and all that. They'll become very quiet children, well-behaved children. Because you people don't massage the children, all their lives are jumping, and all their lives are rightly violent. You see, this is, the nerves must be soothed down. A very simple method, and as you are real as people, you'll soothe them much more. All these small, small things must be taken care of, you see. Now, if you have too much of cold, listen to me. If you have too much of cold, then you can mix up with <coughs> camphor with oil and put that in the nose. Little ash, not much. That also is very good. That also suits your cold and puts you right. This country has one big problem is with the chakra everywhere in the West because of the cold. And in Sahaja Yoga, it is compulsory that you must wear an undershirt. It is compulsory. Whatever may be, it is hot, cold, anything. In India, when you're steaming hot, you must wear an undershirt because when it is very hot, you start perspiring and that perspiration causes problems. So always wear an undershirt, whether you are in a hot season or a cold season. <coughs> That's a compulsion for surgeries that they must wear. And for all of them also is compulsory that they should always wear a muffler when they go out during winter time it is an important thing. And also put some these cotton wools in the ears as I put it. For your sake I have to put it because you are careless. So I look after you by putting it through my ears like this. So you all should put it before going out. And keep your head covered in the night. When you sleep, cover your head with something and then sleep. Because most of the time your body is all covered but the head is not covered. Because now you are realized souls and your sahasrara is weak. So you must look after your sahasrara. Cover your head so that you won't have any problem. Also, you must verify what sort of a person you are. If you have a liver problem, then you must get a diet for that, which is here, people will tell you. If you are a left-sided person, if you have left-sided problems, then you must know about the diet what you have to take. For example, a person who is a left-sided should not take carbohydrates at all. On the contrary, should eat proteins in whatever form it is possible. In Sahaja Yoga, you know we don't believe in vegetarianism or anything, but we do believe that the <coughs> muscles of the bigger animals than us 
are not good for our teeth or for our body also because the structure of a muscular cell of a bigger animal is much bigger than ours and that's how they eat up. I mean, even by mistake if I eat some beef or anybody asked me the other day, he had it, my teeth were swollen up. So that's what it happens. It is an automatic reaction. And we are not supposed to use plastics uh, in our clothes also, try to avoid some percentage of plastic can be used, but not all time plastics and nylons. And also the food should not be eaten in plastics. You can eat it in paper. Paper is all right because it is, a, uh, what you call, it's good, it doesn't matter. But you shouldn't eat in plastic, food plastic, with forks and spoons of plastic, and it's too much plastic in this country. So be careful because plastic is anti-God. It is anti-human life. It is anti-biological processes. So avoid plastics as far as possible. Be careful on that. And also don't use made something out of absolute plastic. Like I've seen that I wanted to buy one pair of slippers for my, myself. I couldn't get one in the whole of you because I didn't want a plastic. And if you wear that, then you develop all kinds of skin troubles, skin diseases. So be careful on that. There are so many other things we have to be careful about. And because we have found out that these things are harmful, that's why we have made it compulsory that every one of you must be careful. Because now you have become the temple of God. And the temple of God should be healthy. We don't want tubercular patients to go around as saints. Nobody is going to believe. you just tell them about Ah. Now there's another falsehood about, thank God it's now broken, that the sugar is against uh, our uh, growth and all that. Sugar is very important for attention, especially people who suffer from liver. For example, people who are thin mostly suffer from liver trouble. For them sugar is so important that if they don't take sugar, they'll become like the sugar cane which is come out of the machine, pressing machine, you see, they better be take some sugar. Sugar is very important for your liver. Best carbohydrate is white sugar, not the red sugar. Red sugar is not good because it has got molasses, it's very heaty. Some people have funny ideas here, also about food. Like some of them believe that if you eat natural food, once I got something from natural store, and I got diarrhea for five days because it was meant for animals, not for <laughs> Like some people eat what you call them, circular kind of English word, cotton seed. Now cotton seed we give only to animals, you can't believe. But I have seen in Switzerland, they give cotton seed in the bread. There was cotton seed in the bread. One or two is all right, but imagine, and we just give it to buffaloes only. <laughs> and that was given in you get diarrhea with it. You see, these are very strong things. In the same way, very soft food is also not good. We have to be in the center in everything. Don't eat very rough food. You see, like some of the bread in France, you know, even in England we find, uh, the bread here comes completely. So that kind of a crispy stuff not needed. It should be said that your gums are looked after, they are delicate things, and have food which is good for you. Don't go with rationality, don't go with the fashions, but whatever is good for you, that should be done. And you find out about yourself, what is your temperament, what sort of a, a food will suit you, and accordingly you should eat. Of course, <coughs> everybody is free to do what they like, but we can only advise them that this will suit you, and you'll find it will be very helpful to all of you. It will help you. For your hair growth, also you should get vi vibrated oil and use it. Now, you'll be surprised that day somebody saw Warren and he said, is he the same fellow who looks much younger? So I said, yes, he had a bald head from here to here like that, and now he's grown hair. With proper care, you can have your hair quite intact for quite some time if you look after your hair. But hair is why important, it's not so much a look, but the sastrara. And if you put oil in your sastrara every week, you will have a smooth personality, a smooth behavior, a smooth movement. You deal with other, other people in a gentle manner. So this is very necessary. In India we actually have a big 
Masur attached to a family. You see, he's a very hefty fellow. And he comes to Masur, the man, you see, and he just sits on their body and really finishes them off completely. <laughs> At the first shot, they are dead. Then he uses their body fully and puts it and sits on them and rubs them with it. One clap. You see, five, six of them will be jumping on five, six people. With clap, they go round. By the time the second clap comes in, the person is finished. That's how, that's how they manage. But that, there's no importance of massaging here, you see. And don't ask a non yogi to massage you. Never. Don't allow anybody to touch you that way. Because, you see, these people carry all bad vibrations and you may suffer. You must allow only the realized souls to massage you, if possible, or you yourself should massage yourself. But uh, don't go to these masseurs and people who are massaging all kinds of people and they might be giving you some troubles. So one has to be very careful about certain things and certain personal habits also, which we have discussed. And you can ask Warren, he'll tell you about it, which are very important from Muladhara and all those things, which must be followed. Whether you are in England, America, anywhere, these must be followed to keep yourself clean outside and inside. Now, if you have any question. I was only wondering about the, huh? the kind of technique that we should use when massaging the children. But I guess we can talk about that another time. I mean, anyway, you use is all right. But always to put it upward, you see. The mm. movement should be upward, but use oil, otherwise you pull out, pull out their hair. So use oil to put it upward. And don't forget the sastra. Sastra, don't forget. Sastra, you must put a lot of oil on children. I think we're going to need more hairdressers, people who can cut hair, who are realized souls, because they are touching your sastra. Yeah, otherwise you can grow with the hair. Mama, because my hair. We can grow our hair. Yes, here, up to here, you can grow and cut them round. <laughs> 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 See, you look like a philosopher, quite impressive. <laughs> but you should not be a funny looking person or a jocular. <laughs> That's one thing very important, you see. Uh, you have to not to adopt some funny methods, you see, like people have. Especially nowadays the fashion is to disable your hair and keep them absolutely disabled. There's no oh, need to do that. The, uh, the, huh? the hair must be off the back forehead. Off the forehead. Huh. It should be kept back over the forehead. Don't cover your foreheads right. or your eyes. Uh, never. It's only uh, your chakra. Stay back. Uh, you Let's must go. keep it open. You see, always keep open. But you must have a central parting if possible, but keep the forehead open. It's important. If you keep the forehead open, it's very good for others, you see. And uh, don't cover your eyes with any hair. Many people have a habit of allowing the hair to come on the eyes, and you'll have skills. Children also never allow hair to come on their eyes. Then we have some things for the eyes also, what we call netranjan. I don't have now anything. But it's a very good, simple thing, costs you nothing about eight and a half or ten, one to two, any how much? One tenth of a dollar. All right, they have some, they'll give you, which is to be applied first very carefully. <laughs> because if you are not used to it, it will a little bit burn and the tears will start coming out of your eyes, it will clear your eyes. And you'll be surprised with that, if you use it, you don't develop these bags and things like that. And the water flows out, it's a very simple thing. And uh, for soap also, try to use natural soaps, better is because here the soaps are such that I don't know what to say. <laughs> palm olive, man. Palm olive, I think, is about the only soap you can get here. Yes, America. that is good. Palm olive. Mm -hmm. It's very good. What <coughs> to do is to take a little oil and heat with some uh, cloth. Cloth? Clothes? Clothes. 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 No, clothes. No. Clothes. And let the oil be a little bit cool down. When it is quite cool down, not should not be burning hot at all, but just warm. You can feel it. Then put it in the ears. Olive oil? Olive oil is all. Brother, could you explain to them the significance of vibrated sugar and vibrated salt and 
that giving vibrations to these things, they don't quite understand the significance of vibrating everything. You see, because God has given you vibrations, the power is flowing through you now. The vibrations are there. So whatever you get from outside is touched by so many people, so many people have created it and they haven't got a good mind or maybe something wrong with them. Best thing is to give them a bandhan before eating. Any food you eat, you must give it a bandhan like this three times. So your vibrations flow into the food and you get it sanctified. Or else you can also you know, use your hands for eating. If you have washed your hands, then it's all right. Or else if you are taking the water, you can just put your hand there, it gets vibrated, then drink it. Because the thing is, the vibrations have started flowing through your hand, but still have not spread to your body fully. See my point?